Cassianos, one of the Republican Party's best known and most successful media consultants and strategists, is with us. Also, Eric Erickson, editor in chief of redstate.com. Both men are CNN contributors. Alex, let's go ahead and start with you. So, what do you think? Who won this debate? Well, Michelle Bachman gave the strongest performance of the night. Uh, she took Rick Perry on, the front runner, and scored uh, when she uh, talked about uh, Perry Care, the uh, Texas governor's mandate that 12 year old girls in Texas had to uh, take a, uh, I think, an anti cancer HPV vaccine. But when Perry took that decision out of the hands of Texas parents, big government, Republicans don't like big government, don't like mandates. Eric, who was the winner for you? You know, I think Perry probably by default, because by the time he got into those issues, a lot of people, I think, had probably tuned over to the NFL and U.S. Open. But the, the, the <laughs> HPV vaccine issue really hurt him last night, uh, as did the immigration issue. I'm kind of surprised he wasn't prepared for those. Ultimately, though, I think he went in probably the front runner and came out the front runner. And I think Mitt Romney's attacks on him on Social Security and some of the fiscal issues actually hurt Romney with Tea Party activists. Uh, it, it, I don't think it's an issue that's really resonating with, with Tea Party activists, who I think are the real drivers in the nomination fight right now. There was a lot of sports competition uh, last night, <laughs> wasn't there? That's true. We're actually going to interview the uh, U.S. Open winner, guys. I'll take advantage to just plug that uh, later in the hour. But, okay, Alex, biggest disappointment? Uh, you know, it's such a critical time for the country uh, that Americans are so concerned that the country's in decline, that we're we're leaving our kids a country less than we were given and that's a big job to inspire the country take it forward i didn't see on that stage last night anybody getting that big uh... and stepping up and saying hey follow me i see the future i know the way i we can re-nourish we can rebuild this great country and keep america number one uh, it wasn't an inspiring performance. There was a lot of back and forth on, on small stuff, but uh, I, I didn't get the big stuff. Eric, do you, do you agree? Was there just yeah, not I, enough I, fire? I, I... I would tend to agree with Alex on that there wasn't an inspiring performance. I would also say that by the time the debate started, we knew what the president's plan would be on paying for his jobs bill. And uh, Perry touched on it very briefly. No one else did. And, and even Perry, they, they just it, it, it was a, a shot they could have taken that they didn't take on a very bad bill. And no one raised those, those very current issues. I, I, I realize it, the debate format, how it's structured, but I think there was a lot of current news they could have brought into the debate last night. They didn't. All right, so Kyra, this debate was important. Go ahead, this Alex. This debate was really important because I think we, we learned more on, about these candidates in this debate than any debate right. we've had so far. Uh, and, and I think that, that is a key debate because now it's not just the people who watched last night it's how many people are going to see the great moments that came out of this over the next two weeks the post debate spin is going to affect more people than the debate itself and that debate uh, spin is going to be about perry the hpv vaccine it's going to be about immigration and that's going to be a problem for perry i think in iowa and south carolina so bottom line what do you think would have changed the dynamics um within this debate for the race guys i mean did they need to come out more on the economy on jobs eric you know i i think michelle bachman changed the dynamic last night by having a strong performance again the the bachman we saw in the early debates came back last night and i think we we may see a slight uptick in her polling again that had gone down tremendously in the past few weeks she's hold on she's held on she's bought herself more time i'm not sure she can turn it around completely but i i really think she personally changed the dynamic last night in a way that no one else on the stage changed the dynamic alex I think I agree with that, absolutely. I think Michelle Bachman's strong performance, and that's a problem uh, for Rick Perry. It makes uh, Mitt Romney smile. Alex, Eric, thanks, guys.